Hi everybody, Gertler from Cape Town. Welcome back to another video. This video I'm going to discuss the tricks that you can apply to raise your blood testosterone levels. Now, especially when you're an older guy, I mean, I'm this month I'm 54, and uh, this really becomes very important to you because if your blood testosterone levels are low, and as you get older, unfortunately, they get lower, but if they're low, uh, it's going to mean that you're going to struggle to lose fat, you're going to struggle to build muscle, you're going to be low on energy, you're going to struggle with sometimes severe depressive states. Uh, you ha There's potential heart problems that you're going to experience. Um, you're going to have no interest in sex, uh, your libido is going to be low, and you're going to have impotence problems. So you don't want to go that route. You don't want to live a life like that. You want to live a quality life where your testosterone levels are well, optimal uh, and in the higher ranges for your age, not the lower ranges for your age. So let's look at science-based things you can do that will really make a difference. Unfortunately, there's a lot of hogwash out there, you know, really like complete disinformation and untruths about products that are supposedly going to increase your blood testosterone levels. And uh, here in this video, I want to sift through those um, lies and point out the ones that are backed up by science with real studies, uh, real control groups that showed this is working and this is making a difference. First, let's look at the uh, products out there that claim to make a big difference, but doesn't make the great because they're not backed up by any science study that could prove that they're actually really effective. Those are number one, Tribilis terrestris. Now, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right, sorry, I'm Afrikaans, but I'll put it on the screen for you so you can see what the word is exactly. Now, this is probably the product out there that everybody or every company that promotes it uh, claims is making a big difference on raising your blood testosterone levels. Unfortunately, there is not a single science study with a control group that showed that this is making any difference on your blood testosterone levels. What it does do is it does increase your libido. So uh, although it doesn't increase blood testosterone levels, if you're after increasing your libido, this could really help. Uh, the same goes for number two, uh, fenugreek extract. Uh, again, I don't know if I pronounce it wrong. Just look on the screen for the exact word. Uh, it's got zero science studies that can back it up as that it actually makes a real difference in testosterone levels. But the same goes for that item that it has shown in that studies that it does increase your libido. So both fenugreek extract and uh, tribilis um, is going to make a difference for the male with his libido. Then number three, aspartic acid. Now it's been found with science studies that could, uh, under certain conditions, for a very short duration, increase your blood testosterone levels in a very small way. But the moment that you stop taking this uh, supplement, uh, everything goes back to normal. Plus, uh, they found that if you take a certain amount, let me see, I think this is 6 grams of um, aspartic acid per day, that it actually resulted in a decrease in the blood testosterone values of the people tested. So this is uh, the three items you need to steer clear from. Uh, that is tribilis tetris, uh, fenugreek extract, and uh, aspartic acid. Um, there's a lot of claims around these three on the internet uh, on how they can increase your testosterone levels. And this is, this is unfortunately all hogwash. It can definitely help, especially the first two, with increasing your libido, but it will not increase your uh, uh, testosterone levels. Uh, so therefore it will not help with building any muscle mass and it will not help losing fat. Right, now let's look at the ones that actually made the grade. That means it's items or supplements that uh, has shown through scientific studies with control groups uh, among quite a lot of people that it does make a difference. It does, does raise your blood testosterone level. Okay, number one, Magnesium and zinc, also called ZMA. Um, you take it usually before bedtime, and and all it does, it's it's a supplement that supplements your body with magnesium and zinc. So nothing fancy there, but it has shown that it actually do increase 
rather drastically your total and free testosterone in the blood. So this is a good baseline product to use. Number two, and this came as a bit of a surprise, um, good old creatine. Now everybody knows that creatine is supposedly, well not supposedly, it is actually the best supplement you can use this side of anabolic steroids uh, to build muscle. And many people have got great success with it. Uh, now the science studies has shown that interestingly enough it can actually uh, increase your blood testosterone levels as well. In the study that they've done uh, they found that amongst a certain group of football players that used creatinine uh, their blood testosterone levels was increased by 22 percent. Now that is quite a huge amount. Creatinine on various levels helps to build muscle and helps you to lose fat via the mechanism of increasing your blood testosterone levels and via the normal mechanisms. The last one is good old vitamin D. Now the problem is that we think no oh, no we don't have vitamin D shortages but 90% of the people out there has got varying degrees of vitamin D shortages. We just don't get enough in, in the sun especially when it's winter time and so on. Now if you've got a vitamin D shortage you're gonna have lowered uh, testosterone levels. So to make sure, sure that you don't fall within that category, um, vitamin D supplementation is a very, very good idea. Right, so this, is this all you can do to increase your blood testosterone levels? You've got these three big supplements that you can use and it will make a big difference. No, this is, this is just all you can do on the supplement sides. Well, the legal supplement sides. But there are big other things that you can do that will make a huge difference in increasing your blood testosterone levels. Let's quickly go through them. Regular heavy compound training. Now science studies have found that when you do regular intense compound training, now we're talking here about the squats, the bench pressing, the deadlifts, uh, the body will release an extra degree of uh, human growth hormone and uh, testosterone. So males that perform heavy compound moves in their exercises will have a higher human growth hormone and a higher testosterone level than those that does not do that. Then number two, your healthy eating habits. That's going to have a major impact on your uh, blood testosterone levels. Uh, let me use a quick example. Many guys believe that, you know, cutting out uh, fat completely from their diet, um, they would uh, lose a lot of fat. Uh, yes, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But what they're doing to their body is cutting out good fats, uh, or fat for that matter, but especially good fats, will result in your testosterone level diving. It would really go very low. Your, your hormonal system, um, the fuel for your hormonal system in your body, is fat, good fats. If you don't get good fats in, your hormonal system will not function optimally and especially your testosterone will drop drastically. Now alcohol, um, number three, uh, little or no alcohol, that is what you should use. If you're a regular user of moderate to a lot of alcohol, you're going to have testosterone problems. Low testosterone is going to be your future. Enough sleep. Uh, various science studies has proven that if you don't get enough sleep in, your body can't recuperate and recover. It doesn't function optimally anymore. So when you get very little sleep in, your testosterone levels is going to drop full stop. Number five, stress. Uh, when you're in regular intense stress situations, the stress hormone that gets released in your body uh, is having a severe negative impact on your uh, testosterone levels. So regular Intense stress situations will result in low testosterone. Okay, now point six, excessive masturbation. When you are taking part in excessive masturbation, you will have low testosterone levels. Uh, this has been shown by quite a couple of science studies, so that's a fact. So if that is your problem, stop. So there you have it. This is all you can do to get that blood, blood testosterone levels up. Now, I cannot stress enough. How careful you need to be to read all these marketing claims of the supplements out there. 99.9% .9 of it is pure hogwash and hollow claims. They base all their uh, proof on upon lies, stolen photos, or people that has been bought to lie for them. Uh, if it's not proven by actual science studies, 
It's hogwash. Don't even read it. Okay, for those that's interested in my system that I've developed for the older guy, it's the Advanced Coaching System 2. And it incorporates all these things into a, how can I say, complete holistic blueprint to transform your body. It's customized for you, for your goals, for your body. So I'm dropping the link on the screen for you. Just follow that link. That is where you can sign up and that is where we can get the ball rolling for you. So everybody, cheers. Gertler from Cape Town signing off. Oh, and I've uh, been recently to uh, Dubai, Thailand, Phuket, Fifi Islands. I uh, had a lot of adventure there. I bought myself a wow a watch. I'm very impressed with it. If you want me to do a video on all my adventures that I had and what I visited and the things I experienced there, uh, just let me know. Just drop a comment on the on, on this video. So, everybody, cheers, Gertler from Cape Town, signing off.